Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Stone Block 3. Let's just, uh, yeah, do that. We don't need this machinery at this point in time. No need for all that noise. But anyways, in the last episode, we set up this, our refined storage setup. And in between episodes, I went ahead and made two more 4K storage disks, which now puts us at, which now puts us at 16,000 item capacity. Which is awesome, and this thing is still burning, but that is because we have this right here, which can hold 4 million FE. So I'm just gonna let it use all the coal that I give it, and we'll see how much power this thing actually uses. But in the last episode as well, we went on a journey far beyond our reach, almost. <laughs> <laughs> through the cave area, through the caves here, which we haven't actually explored a whole lot of. And we stopped right here at the edge, right at the edge of the nether area. And today, we're going to go past the nether area into the end area. Well, I should call them rings, because technically, if we go in here, I'm pretty sure... Uh, the, nope, that's not it. Aha! Yes! I'm pretty sure somewhere it says rings. Ah, there we go. Ring of nether and end. See? Told you. It was ring. Now what I also want to set up today is RF matter receivers and transmitters because I would like to travel from here to the nether ring and the end ring to and from those locations and so I have set up some items that we need to craft using RF tools but in order to craft them we actually need to go to the end first because we require quite a few of it, uh, quite a few ender pearls in order to get there but before we leave I want to upgrade our crusher here because currently it's not doing anything because well I haven't added any gravel to the chest but I think we can automate gravel so that it just keeps uh, keeps on producing forever you see we of course have cobblestone generators but not only that we also have these iron auto hammers or auto hammers I should say because we do have quite a few actually or, or quite a few we do have four we have a gold auto hammer a diamond one and a netherite one and actually, now that I think about it, why make an iron one if we can go ahead and make a... Yeah, we might as well upgrade it all the way to diamond, huh? Yeah, might as well do that. But anyways, I want to make this, which eventually... Which basically will just crush cobblestone into gravel, and then that gravel will then be fed into the crusher. So, I think we should go ahead and make that right away, if we can. I just need to go ahead and make an iron hammer here, and we can make an iron auto hammer. I then also want to go ahead and upgrade this to a gold hammer because we might as well get it to the highest possible uh, tier. We don't have another right just yet, but there we go, diamond auto hammer. I also need a new cobblestone generator, and for that I may need to smelt some stone real quick. Oh, never mind, I have a cobble generator tier two right here. Okay, well that makes that way easier. Uh, I do, however, also need to make some iron pipes, which, what am I missing? Oh yeah, droppers. So one, two, I love refined stories, like how this all works. It makes crafting so much easier. And I should have my ranch in here as well. Beautiful. So I think I can just go ahead and I need temporary blocks. So I think I can just go ahead and place a cobblestone generator tier two right there. That's going to output a uh, cobblestone automatically to the top. Place a hammer right here. Waiting for input. Okay, it doesn't actually have an inventory. I don't know why that is. Uh, is there anything to see? No? Can I do this and then set this to output? Will this work? I can imagine we actually need to feed it. So let's try and go ahead and do that. Oh, that's not... Oh, there we go. It did it. It actually produced gravel. And there we go, we can actually see its inventory, it is being filled up. I don't know how many items it actually goes through at a time. Looks like maybe four, maybe two. Not quite sure, but for now, this is actually working. Uh, I should put this... Uh, yeah, yeah, that. that's fine. That's totally fine. So yeah, there we go. That is going to automate... Well, this thing right here. I've also fully repaired my sledgehammer, so I think it is time to go on that adventure. Time to head through the tunnels yet again. However, we are going to make a little bit of a pit stop, because I was told to make a bunch, or or I was told, rather, to make some feral flare lanterns and then place those in the dungeons, a.k.a. 
this up here, which is of course an ingenious idea because if I place a, a feral lantern right here and it spreads out to say this area here, it's going to make that place a whole lot safer. So as we pass, I'm just gonna run in there, place a bunch of them down, run back out, and then if I remember, we will stop by on the way back and we'll see how lit the place is. Here's the staircase. I see it. Now a huge difference from yesterday and today as well, or the last episode and this episode, is also, I know what to expect now. So if I like place one here, I don't know how big the radius is. So I'm just gonna go over here, place one right there. Please don't blow up. Yeah, it seems to be working. And uh, I seem to be out of here. <laughs> <laughs> bye bye. We'll be back. Yeah, laugh away. Laugh away. I'll be back and we'll see how effective this is. Oh, yeah. I also have gotten these two chance cubes from taking uh, quest uh, rewards. And it says, Warning, it is recommended you don't open these in or next to your base. So I'm gonna do it like at. Oh dear. I'm gonna do it in a cave or something right at the edge of the cave ring. And uh, we're gonna hope for the best. We could get something really bad, but we could also get something really good, something mediocre. We'll see what we get. But first, I must get there. All right, this will from now on be known as the Chance Cube Cave. I don't know what's gonna happen. This could be really good or it could be really bad. I am ready to escape, hopefully, just right down there into my safe tunnel. Here goes. Oh, an end crystal. Um, whoa, it's actually coming towards me. It's actually coming towards me. Okay, I, did, I didn't expect that. I didn't expect it to hunt me. That's not a good start. Okay, placing the other one. Huh, well then. I think that would have been a massive amount of XP, maybe? It sounded like XP bottles breaking. But you know what? I Yeah, yeah I'm fine with it. I'm fine with it. It could have been a lot worse. It could have been a lot worse. I'm happy. All right, here we are at the edge of the nether. Now, the cool thing is, as soon as we get to over here, there shouldn't be any stone in our path, and digging through this should be really, really easy. I wonder if we'll be able to get to this. No, this, according to the map here, is on Y level minus 61. Yikes, that is 60 blocks below us. So, yeah, that, that would be... A little bit tough to get to but yeah i'm gonna dig through this and i'll update you when something new happens or we reach the end i'll see you in a moment and i don't know if i said this or not i was supposed to say it but then i may have forgotten to say it that with this nether rack here it's going to be very easy to mine through because it's so fast so tunneling from this point forward Hopefully it shouldn't be as painful as the other times. Quick update, we have now passed the stone area, so now we're only going to get netherrack moving forward. And yeah, that is exactly what we're gonna do. Oh yeah, that's a thing by the way with these things. Uh, with these uh, dungeons in the nether area, we're actually going to get the nether mobs, so things like magma cubes, uh, wither skeletons, blazes, etc. That's going to spawn here. Oh, yep, yeah, there we go. Blaze. And the men as well, of course. Yep. No boy. Ah, yeah. B basically, treat this as in, as a, as if you're in the Nether because you are. That can happen. Okay, that's good. that's good to know. Stuff is starting to happen. Take a look at the map. We're almost there, actually. So the Nether ring is a lot thinner than the cave ring, which honestly I, I'm quite happy with. <laughs> I ran out of torches, so I am now using glow berries as a light source to to light this entire path and uh you know what it, it works and here we go ladies and gentlemen we have reached i'm pretty sure the end area and just a little bit more or a little bit further i should say and we will be surrounded just with end stone this is exciting i will go ahead and save a bunch of this netherrack but then i am actually going to pick up a bunch of this end stone here, fill up my inventory kind of like this, to pick up a bunch of it, because I want a bunch of it with me back to home base. And now we are officially in the surrounded end ring, and we do have something up here, which is at Y level, 
minus 32 it seems it looks like we might be able to reach this uh, depending on how long my hammer decides to last for and I think that would be kind of cool I definitely want to get ender pearls which is kind of the reason why we're going all the way over here so I really hope my hammer can last to go up here and then straight over okay I have finally made it to whatever this is Keep in mind, I'm probably gonna have to bail out of here extremely quickly. However, I do want to see what this is all about. I do hear a bunch of shulkers. I do see a bunch of endermen. Okay. Oh wow, there's a lot of shulkers. There's also a lot of endermen, which could very well come in handy in just a moment. Um. Oh wow, it's a uh oh, it's a city. It's a it's an end city kind of thing here. It looks cool. Okay, so if I just anger a few of these fellas here, make them come over here. Yep, I can farm for a few ender pearls. Maybe if I just move this, that's fine. They will have to be up here though when I kill them. Ideally, anyway. Ah, there's loot though. I mean, uh oh. I mean, I do want loot. Now, according to my calculations, I need 16 ender pearls, And honestly, I think I can get those easier if I just start hunting on my tunnel because I did see ender endermen start spawning behind me. However, I do, uh, I would really love to check out some of that loot. Oh yeah, that, that's plenty. That's even more after the corner there. Um, so if I just make a little bit of a thing here and I just go ahead and smack, smack. Yeah, I should be able to do this pretty easily. I have decided not to check it out just yet. I want to give this a proper shot, which I think I can if I get close enough. Hmm, this is not promising though. <laughs> oh, okay, that's that's a lot more promising. Um, okay, yeah, a, a lot more promising. This might have just become. Yep, this has just become worth it. Oh wow, okay, uh, I don't even know what to do. Dragon scale? Okay, that's a lot here. I just want to make sure I can get back up here. Oop. Okay. That's a lot of them. I need a strategy. Well, I do have ender pearls, so how much damage does this thing do? 9.25, okay, so it is more attack damage. Okay. Maybe if I just stand in... Okay, nope. Oh! Oh! Well, this works wonders. <laughs> One, oh, oh no, oh no, this is when things are going downhill. This is when things are going downhill, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, never mind. I'm good. Kinda. Maybe. Okay, this place, definitely worth coming back looting for. But I want those matter transmitters first. So that I can probably get the loot back with me, because right now... I got no inventory space, I want the sandstone with me, I need the sandstone with me actually. So we'll be back. So we'll be back, but for now I'm gonna head home with this. This is not enough ender pearls, but we can actually use this end stone in order to get more ender pearls. So all I need to do now is get back home, get more ender pearls, and then set up the matter transmitters. All right, so now that we're actually home, I want to finally open this rare loot crate. We could get something good, I don't know what it's gonna be. Let's open it, see what we get. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Can't say that's what I was expecting, but anyway, let's move on. I have compressed this end stone all the way to a tier 2, or a 2 times compressed end stone, and I'm gonna place it just like so, because what we can then do is take our hammer and crush it down into crushed end stone. And what we can do with this is we can bulk wash it and potentially get some more ender pearls, and hopefully it's gonna be enough for what I want to do, and of course I gotta bring back the power to the sink, because I kind of disconnected that at the beginning of the episode, but that's no problem, throw all of this over there, together with this, grab a quick shaft, and just like so, we are watching. And there we go, I can already see that we got 16 out of, whoa! Okay, we, we got way more than just 16 and the pearls, wow! Yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and add all those into here and let us get to crafting the matter stuff that we need. So, I, first of all, I need to make some machine frames. I'm pretty sure I need like five of... Excuse me. I, I should I should have... Oh, I need to add this in here and then I can 
keep doing this. Okay, there we go. Right, I think I need four, five... Yep, six sounds right. Next, I need to make the matter transmitter. This is what we will be beaming from, essentially. So this is going to be placed here in our base. Then we need to get the matter receiver, which are the thing or which is the thing that we need to connect to and where we are going to end up from this thing. So this is going to be there's going to be one in the nether area. There's also going to be one in the end area and one back here at home because I have a plan for this thing. We also need a dialing device, which we will be using together with this. We also need a meta booster right here and then also together with this. And then the charged porter right here, which is basically going to allow us to connect to one of these, aka the one that I'm going to place in here, and then we can travel to it from wherever we are. So that is going to be pretty cool. Uh, so I want to set up the dialing device at the matter transmitter. So if I go ahead and place, let's place a uh, matter transmitter right here. So it will be needing power, but we will sort that in just a moment. Uh, we can change the GUI style, which I like this one. And I think in here, I'm going to place the dialing device and the matter booster. And yep, this has this has now registered this, so I can actually give this a name, home base. can actually see the text very well there. Um, so that's fine right there. And there we go, home base. And yep, that's pretty much it. Now I need to essentially place these elsewhere. But just to test, I'm going to place one in the corner over here. These are also going to be, have, be needing power. However, um, I think I could give this one a name. So test one. That's also going to be public. And then over here, I can say take this and then dial. However, this needs power. Um, so I need to sort that out somehow which is going to be a bit of an issue considering last episode. However, for right now, I got plenty of coal, so I think this should do. Just got to place a sterling dy dynamo underneath it, pulling directly up onto it, and this dialing device also needs power, huh? Okay, with the, oops, with these things now having power, if I go ahead and select this, I can... It's an adjacent analyzer. I do have the meta booster. Maybe I'm using the wrong thing. Ah, yes, it's a destination analyzer I want. I don't want the booster. I want an analyzer, which we now have. Perfect. So I can place this here, and then here I can check to see this meta receiver power low. Now, I could die from this. However, I think it'll be fine. I'm gonna dial it once. Dial is okay. I should end up over there. Yes. Now it does say the battery receiver has run out of power, but I can deal with the little bit extra uh, one and a half hearts of damage essentially. So this means that this now works until I can set up wireless power anyway. So I'm on a bit of a mission. I made this aerial pearl, which is pretty easy to make. I don't need to use it on a zombie or a husk, and if I then get this, I should be able to make this player transmitter, which should be able to charge items on me, so it won't only be useful for this, but also other things in the future. So I'm currently heading back to this place, which it's gonna be cool to see how much the lantern has actually lit up. All right, here we go. Oh, wow. Yeah, this place is very well lit up. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, yep, this place is now safe to basically loot, I suppose. I'll get back to that. Right now, I actually do want things to spawn. Um, I, I can't, I can't resist the, ooh, whoa! Where did you come from, buddy? Okay, I need a zombie to spawn. I really need a zombie to spawn. You're an endermite. I do not feel safe. Walking through here. That looks very bad. You're very bad as well. Come on, I just need a zombie. <laughs> All I need is a zombie. You know what? I'm going to get rid of this because I don't like... Oh, I see a zombie. You know what? Just go ahead. Right click it. Aha! I got it. Mission accomplished. Which means now I can go ahead and make this. And I think I can place this next to it, maybe? 
Yes, it is getting power. Apparently I need to go ahead and make a blank card and then make a binding card, which then if I right click it, it now has me as the owner. And I can put this on there and this should be, yep, it's now charging. Okay, that was a few more steps than I, that was a few more steps than I had anticipated with this process. However, with that now done, this thing is now charged. So I, if I go ahead and place this now, if I right click, uh, oh yeah, I have to actually hold down shift and then right click this. If I then do this, I get teleported back over. So this is, that, that's basically my way of getting home from places. So now, if I go ahead and, well, I, I, I'll place this here. I'll name it instead of test. I'll name this home base. I don't know if I can. I don't want to stay. <laughs> I don't know if I can right, shift line right click to this. Yeah, no, because this is the transmitter. That's a receiver. So now all I got to do, quote unquote, all is travel back to the nether and the end. Place these two matter receivers there. And that should be that. All right, I have reached the nether area. So I'm just going to dig down here, place a matter receiver. And I'm going to call it the nether ring because it, it's a, it's it's a ring as we discovered and so that's that i'm going to continue to the end and i think this is going to work very well hopefully and here we are in the end area dig down place matter receiver call it the end ring there we go and then i can throw this away i should be able to excuse me are you kidding me? It has no target? I guess I need to bind it every time I go through. I didn't know this. I'm pretty sure I can make an advanced charge porter, which I don't know if it saves the things. Um, I might try, I, I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna have to walk all the way back though. Okay, back home at last. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do this. And hopefully it should be set. <laughs> because now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna walk over to the dialing device. I'm gonna choose the end ring. I'm gonna dial this. And it worked. Now I should be able to right click this. And that worked as well. And it's been fully charged from this transmitter thingy. This works. This might work better than I had expected. Oh, wait, hold on. I need to interrupt that. There we go. Now all I need to do, or want to do, is set a redstone signal, redstone control. Um, signal required is high. And this over here as well, signal required is high so that I can install a lever right here. I'm pretty sure this is going to work, which we can check if we just dig down a little bit here. This should now, yep, not produce anything and hopefully preserve the coal. And same for this thing right here. All right, guys, I am going to end this episode right here. However, just before I go, I do want to show you something with the charge porter. I no longer need to bind it every single time I use it. And the reason for that is because, well, the reason why it stopped working earlier was because I broke the matter receiver, which then broke the link to the charge porter, which makes total sense. And in the next episode, I have some pretty big plans. I want to improve our power generation, but not only that, I want to continue sorting our items. Currently, we have refined storage, which I'm super, super happy with, but we also have functional storage, the drawers mod, which I really want to utilize and set up. I have some big plans for it, and yeah, I'm I'm excited. So like I said, hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, be sure to leave it a like, subscribe if you're new, enable those notifications so you don't miss out on the next episode, and I hope to see you in the next one. Until then, have a wonderful day, and goodbye. Okay.